Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, hey what up everybody? This is Jay Tom Gumpter, owner of Grapes and Sam Publishing. Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, in which I go find a bottle that is under $20, but it's punching above its weight class. And um, today, I'm still on vacation, so as you can see, the background has changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, today we have two wines. And the only reason I'm doing two wines is because I had a, fam a friend and a family member of mine say, um, ha is there any wines that you don't like? And normally, I, when I don't like something, I immediately just don't review it on camera because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But... Um, I had time today, so uh, we're going to get into one real quick that, um, yeah, was different, and, and then we'll get into something else, so let's get right into it, because I don't want this to be too long of a show, uh, but by the way, for everybody who's been rocking with me thus far, I so appreciate you doing that, um, you know, keeping me, keeping my feet to the fire, keeping me focused, I appreciate that, and for people who are brand new to my channel, thank you so much for checking me out, hope to see you in the comments section, hope to go back and forth with you about wine. I'm here for any questions you have, and if I don't know the answer, I'll figure it out for you. So, anyway, uh, with that being said, you guys are not here for all that. You're here for the wine. So, let's get into the wine. Today, starting off, uh, we're talking about uh, Fog and Light. Uh, this is a Monterey, California uh, Cabernet Sauvignon 2018. Hope you guys can see this label. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, there we go. So, I hope you guys can see that. Uh, 2018. Um... This is interesting. Um, this has a wax top, so I had to like really like had to you know put the put it down in, pull it right out, and then like the wax kind of and then cut around just to make sure it wasn't getting into the wine. Um, so normally when you see a wax top, that means it's like prestigious, high level, reserved. Um, they put money in the packaging because it's their high level wine. And so um, let's taste this and figure out if it is a high level wine. Um, on the nose on this one. So I get clove, I get some, um, I get black cherry, a little bit of like a cedar edge going on here too, and also like a lot of, van like a lot of vanilla. Scratch that, nutmeg, a lot of nutmeg going on here. Yeah, it's this black fleshy cherry. Let's go ahead and, it's, it's not over the top on the nose, but let's go ahead and taste it and see if anything is jumping out. Meh. This is meh. It's one noted. Black cherry throughout the palate. A little bit of a cola thing going on. Um, acid is acid is medium minus. Like it's it's low acid. Tannins are uh, kind of laughable. They're not even here. Not catching hardly any tannins for a Cabernet Sauvignon. Doesn't have that um um. And this is over oaked. Um, so all I'm getting is oak. I'm getting like. Freaking oak chips. I'm, I'm biting into like uh, oak two by fours as I'm drinking this wine. Black cherry oak. I do not like this wine. <laughs> I don't like this wine at all. Um, and I love Monterey. Monterey makes amazing wines. But um, I think the packaging kind of got me. Uh, it is $24 at um, World Market. But uh, it was um, discounted for club members. Or... People have like who've been work uh like shopping at World Market for a long time, so I got it for sixteen dollars, so it was under the twenty dollar limit. And uh, for me, it's not punching above its weight class. Uh, it's just my opinion. No, no judgment towards anybody. I'm not trying to, you know, um, I'm not trying to look down on anybody. I'm not a winemaker, so I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that. But uh, for me, yeah, this does not work. I'm gonna kill this because I need to pour the other glass. Um, but yeah, this is not what I would think is a um, top shelf wine. And if I was to score it, I would say 85, 84. It was just open, so let's give it let's give it 85 plus. A little wet soil coming out now, but yeah, it's not doing enough for me. Second wine. This is called Wine Still of the Week, so hopefully I had to bring in a still. So this is definitely a still. This is called the Goro Gold Red Blend. This is out of Spain. 
We're talking about uh, 80% Maestro, 15% Syrah, and uh, 5% Cabernet Sauvignon uh, at Arumia. And I hope you guys can see that. That's a hell of a label, too. I love like the artwork on the front. It's dope. Uh, let's see what's going on here. All right, on the nose, this is more like it. I'm getting a raspberry. I'm getting a little bit of uh, cranberry going on here, too. Dusty. There's also a bit of blueberries going on here, too. There's a um, spice, a cinnamon note here. No, uh, cinnamon clove type of uh, note here. Wet tree bark. There's also like a um, a floral nature to this. Um, I would say like a, um, it's not violets. It's um, I can't pinpoint it, but there's something. There's um, there's a different type of flo fl flower going on here. There's also a little huckleberry as far as on the nose, and a little bit of sawdust, which is interesting. This is very complex on the nose. I'm loving this nose. All right, let's go ahead and taste and see what's going on in the palate. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is this is what I'm talking about. Real wine right here. Dry finish. This is tight. It has some it has, it has some dryness on the finish. You're getting a little fig in the mid palate that I wasn't catching on the nose. Um, a lot of kind of that floral um, aspect up front along with the um, blueberries. Um, blueberries, and definitely a little bit of like a, a raspberry going on here too. Nice little bitter uh, bitter almond in, uh, finish, which is dope. Um, tannins are medium. Acid is medium to medium plus. Little black pepper going on here too. That's uh, not even a little bit, a lot on the finish. Outstanding wine. It has a little bit of a plum thing going on, purple plum, in the third quarter to the finish. A little bit of that spice is kicking into the nutmeg. Um, this is awesome wine. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is definitely a steal. This is um, I found this again also at World Market, uh, and this was twelve dollars at World Market. Um, yeah, awesome buy, 2017, killer wine. Killer wine, I think if you like are doing any kind of like pork dishes, sausage, um, this is a, this would just like marry very well with that. Um, that uh, pork sausage would not kick it out of bed. Let's put it that way. I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful week. This was a, um, a very unique week, uh, it being my birthday week and also being away from my normal uh, area to record. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the week as much as I have. Uh, 41 has been interesting thus far. I'm um, learning some things about myself. Nothing that I didn't already know, but like, you know, I'm getting more clarity. So it's a great thing. Um, if I was to score this wine, uh, I would probably say, so it says 93 here. I'm going to go a little lower. I would say 91. I would say 91 is about where I'm at. Uh, 90 plus 91 would be where I'm at on this one. Because um, it is awesome juice. Killer juice. So, uh, question of the day. Um, question of the day. Do you want me to do more videos on wines that um, I don't like? Do you want me to include that into uh, what I'm doing here? Not just like the wine stills of the week, but maybe like wines that maybe uh, were not up to par. Um, you want me to kind of pan them? Just a question. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful week. And again, till next time, guys. Cheers.